Hey guys, it's nice to see you again. So today I was actually filming a foundation review for you all, um, which will be up later on this week, but I wanted to quickly try and compare these two highlighters that look very similar, but one of them is so like raved on about. I just feel like everyone talks about it, everyone has it on Instagram, and I just need to try it out. So what I'm talking about is the Iconic London Illuminating Drops, and I'm gonna be comparing it to the new Nip and Fab Liquid Gold. Don't it look so similar? That's what they look like side by side. They look very similar. I'm going to do swatches. I haven't done swatches of them yet. Just to let you know, the Iconic London is £30 and the Nip and Fab one is around £8, but I'll write the price right here. So there's a huge price difference and I want to know why this one costs £8. Because that seems like a lot of money for illuminating drops. I just wanted to see what the hype is all about with these drops. Um, and these just came out, I, put, I saw them in Superdrug, so I thought, let me, it would be such a good idea to compare the two. So, let me quickly do some drops. This is what the Iconic London one looks like, and I got original. I have to say, it does look stunning. I didn't want to get the darker one, but I just felt like it looked really dark. I don't think I could wear it as a highlight. And this is the Nip and Fab one. Didn't it look very similar? This one is Iconic London and this is the Nip and Fab one. They look very similar on my hand, I'm not even joking. I think maybe the Nip and Fab one is a bit gold, a bit more gold. But they look the same. Nip and Fab one has a bit of a gold touch to it, a little bit. They're both very similar. Uh, I get really excited when I do videos, comparison videos like this. Especially with highlighters. You guys know my most favourite thing is highlighter. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this hair. I have, like, used my powder already, used my bronzer. What I usually do with my other cream highlighters, this is what I personally always do. I know people say you can't, but it works for me. It doesn't make my makeup go patchy. I'm going to set this side of my face first. I'm going to do this side. I'm going to put Iconic London on this side. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to put Iconic London on this side. Okay. I'm using my Kat Von D setting spray, I've been loving this one. So what I do is I just drench my face with setting spray. Let it dry a bit and then I'm going to take a bit of my Iconic London Drops while it's still drying. Just dot. I'm not going to put too much because apparently you don't need much. And I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and just like blend up over the top and it just blends so nicely whether you've put powder or not because the wetness of the setting spray is still there it just blends everything really nicely but when you blend it it's not that bad it's very it's more on the cooler side to not for to what I normally like like my Bobbi Brown cream highlighter stick the glow stick in Island Girl I think or Island that's such a pretty gold highlight but not bit here. Concentrate a bit more. Okay now you can definitely see the glow. What I always do I just go back in with my bronzer and just touch up. Oh my god I'm feeling my highlight. Let me stop now. He does look a bit on the grayer side without the lighting, like without a light shining on it. Like it, I would actually get the darker one and mix the two. Because I feel like this is too light and that one's too dark, but the two would be so good. But let's try the Nip and Fab one. I'm going to use the other side over my sponge. Just dot that. Iconic London and Nip and Fab. I really like the Nip and Fab one actually. But do you know what I mean? It's like the same thing as a £30 one, but so much cheaper and it's doing the job. That's set. Like it definitely sets, which is a good thing. I'm going to see if this sets. I'm going to let it sit for a while. I feel like my lighting keeps changing, but okay. So what I've realised is that the Iconic London does look very like 
silvery on my skin in daylight when there's no light shining obviously under studio lights it, it looks stunning but like in when there's no light shining on me i don't walk around with an umbrella light shining my face obviously like in normal daylight you can easily get that gray patch on your skin especially if you're using a really uh, especially if you're using a highlighter that is a bit lighter than your actual skin tone um i just feel like it's too cool tone and it's just like it looks a bit gray on my cheek in daylight it does still have a tacky feel to it but there's no tackiness to the iconic london um but i kind of like that because it just looks more wet can you see the difference between that and that and this is cheaper like that is cheaper but would i still wear this i think i would and i'm but not on its own i'm gonna get the um darker one and mix the two because it is really nice and i think it would be really nice to mix in with your foundation like both of them the only thing i have to say for the nip and fab one is like here and there you can see chunks of sparkle just like little chunks of sparkle which iconic london does not have um but you can't really see them but i can see them on my forehead like i can definitely see them so yeah that's the downside for me for the nip and fab one but it doesn't really set that much either but i don't mind that it might be a downside for some of you so the only con for the nip and fab one for me is the sparkly sparkle chunks is that how you call it little chunks and that's the only thing for me the pros is that it doesn't completely set so it kind of looks wet on the skin it has that wet look um, it doesn't go too ashy on me. It has that hint of gold. This is liquid gold. Um, they did have other shades as well. I think they had a silvery one and a rose gold one as well. Yeah, and another pro is the price. The pipette does look a bit cheap, but it does the job. So the Nip and Fab one has a thicker consistency. The con to the Iconic London one is that it's a bit too silvery for me, but I think if I get the golder one, it will be really stunning. Um, it does set completely which is not a con i mean it's set so it's not gonna stick to anything it's not gonna budge they both blend really easily and i think this i think i actually can say that the nip and fab one is a dupe for the iconic london so if you don't want to spend 30 pounds even though that i i got this on black friday and they were doing a 10 pound off deal and i put my student discount on top of it and i got it for like 20 pounds in the end so try to get it if it's on discount and if you don't want to spend 20 pounds even on it get the nip and fab one you'll just be you'll be just as happy to be honest and i think that's all i have to say they're definitely dupes okay so that's all i have to say i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know what you think of these if you have tried them i'm really curious to know and if you really really did find this video helpful and you liked it and you want to see more please 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 hit that thumbs up button and it really helps me out to see what kind of videos you do really like um, I really enjoyed doing this video and I'm actually really happy that I have both of them. I've been more into like cream highlighters lately so I thought this could, this it's not, there couldn't be a better time to do this video for you guys. So thank you so much, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!